Okay, a trigonometry question. Right, last question on the exam where five marks, a lot of marks, and uh, is quite tricky to do. So it's not only just uh, the, the more complicated trigonometry, it's some basic trigonometry as well. So first of all, just whilst uh, we're getting started, let's just work out this angle here. So 30 and 35 is 65. Take away from 180 is 115. Um, this angle here, because of this is alternate angles, or Z angles it used to be called, that's 30, and this angle here, same idea as 35. Now we've got two main ways of going about this. We could um, work out this length here, and once we've got that length, we can use basic trigonometry to work out this length, which is what we want the width. Or we could go the other way and uh, work out this length, and once we've got that one, we can work out this length using trigonometry of a right angle triangle because that would be right angled. Um, I'm going to go with the green one here on the left hand side. So to work out this length, uh, we need to use the sine rule. We've got lots of angles on one side. We want to find this side if I call this x. Okay, I've got angles opposite um, and sides. So if I label this one A, sorry, let's call that one A, let's call that one B. So I can do that the wrong way around. Let's uh, put that back in, 115. Okay, so if I call this one A, the one I'm trying to use, and little a, and then this one B and little b, we're trying to find the side, so I'm going to use the, si the, the version of the formula where the side is on the top. Let's actually bring the formula in. Okay, here's the formula that you get given at the front of the exam paper. So this is the one we're looking at. We don't need the C bit. Always label it A and B. Um, start with the thing that's unknown, either the angle or the side that's unknown as A. And then the other one that you know is B. We're trying to find the side, so we're going to put the side on top. So we've got A, which is X, all over sine of A, which is 35, equals B, which is 100, over sine of 115. From there we can find x, because that's going to be sine 35 times by 100 over sine 115. Let's get the calculator. Where has gone? Where is he? There he is. Bring him in. Make sure you're in degrees mode. Sine 35 times by 100 over the sine of 115 equals 63.287157487 so that's the length of that side. I'm going to keep that value in the calculator because I'm going to need it in a minute. Okay so now we know what x is we've just got, I'm just going to write 63 on there just to give us an idea roughly what it is. So now using this right angle triangle we want to find this side w. This is the opposite side this is the hypotenuse we just found out, and that's the angle we're going to use. So using the formulas that we don't get given, the sine opposite hypotenuse, cos adjacent hypotenuse, tan opposite adjacent, we're going to use the opposite and the hypotenuse, which is the sine rule. And we want to find the opposite side, which is the bit on top. So um, we cover that up and we do the sine of the angle times the hypotenuse. So the opposite side, which is W, is equal to the sine of the angle, which is 30 degrees, times by this 63.287 that we just worked out. Bring back in our calculator. Got the value still there, so we just press times to get the answer times the sine of 30. And that gives us 31.6435 and so on. So to three stint figures, 31.6. Three stint figures. And that is, what units is this? This is in meters. So five marks for that. Okay, where do you get your marks? Well, 
there is um, one method mark for using the sign rule, getting to this point where you've written the sign rule down. Um, then we're going to get, so there's a method mark for, for writing the sign rule, then there's a, a, um, an answer mark for putting the numbers in to get something like this. And then another answer mark for getting that answer. And then using that answer in here is a method mark. So when you've got the sign and then three, uh, the final fifth mark for getting 31.6.